Columbus Small Animal Hospital, loving our work. I'm Dr. Jim Kramer. This is Chester. He's a five-month-old male border collie who gets to do what border collies love to do, which is to work cattle. In this case, however, the cattle worked him over. Unfortunately, he's got a broken lower jaw after being kicked by a cow. You can see that his bottom jaw or mandible is deviated to the right and it's swollen. Here we can see an obvious fracture, the caudal area of the body of the right mandible. We suspect the left side of the mandible is fractured as well, but it's hard to determine exactly what is happening on that side from these x-rays. And so Chester goes into surgery. So here's that obvious fracture on the right caudal body of the mandible. You can see the fracture line there. I'm going to put an IM pin in this, so a little Steinman pin to hold it while we're working on it. While not easy to get to, we have enough access to get an L-shaped bone plate with locking screws, two screws on either side of the fracture to stabilize this caudal right-sided mandibular fracture with a bone plate. We discovered the fracture on the left side is even more caudal, very near the temporal mandibular joint underneath the orbit of the eye, very hard to get to, but we were able to reduce that fracture and stabilize that and cross pin it with a couple of small Steinman pins. And here's the finished product, nice repair, and especially given the difficulty of the circumstances. And here's Chester just minutes after waking up, recovering from anesthesia. He's licking that catheter. We don't usually encourage the hat, but it's nice to see him using his mouth, his teeth interdigitating, everything lined up well. He has total control and use of it. So we're happy to see him licking that. He's kind of biting at the IV line. He's licking his hind paw, you know, terrific. And here he is within an hour of surgery. We've removed the IV catheter. And look at this, he's eating soft food like nothing ever happened. We don't normally feed or water a dog immediately after surgery, but these dogs that come in with these horrible jaw fractures have not been eating well and they're unable to drink. They can't lap water very well at all when their jaw is fractured and deviated. So we do feed them right away to just see if they can eat and to get them rehydrated, get some nutrition into him. This is the very next day after surgery. You can see how he's voraciously licking that bowl and he's using his mouth with total control. Fabulous. Licking his lips. So he'll be chasing cattle again in no time. Hopefully a, a little more carefully. And here he is just four days after surgery. He lives on a farm. He chases cattle for a living. He's not used to being on a leash. So he doesn't quite know how to respond to that. Very good natured young border collie. We're trying to lift him up so we can look at his jaw. He's kind of shy that way, but you can see how good it looks. Everything's lined up and straight. Total use of his tongue. Incredible. It's almost as if nothing ever happened. And this is four days post-surgery with both sides of his mandible still fractured, but being held together by orthopedic implants. And once again, here he is eating. Watching a dog eat, not so exciting, except when they have such a horrible jaw fracture <laughs> recently repaired, and then it is. It's miraculous and wonderful to see. We're very pleased to see Chester doing so incredibly well. We fully expect he will never look back. Columbus Small Animal Hospital, loving our work.